And this one should run y'all's buttons through the roof because I was mad watching this. Um, ladies and gentlemen, for those, most everyone that's in here for the most part has followed us from March till now. Larry and T Streams, how many times did we get up here on this live stream from March to now and talk about Karen's calling the police on black people? More than I can remember. I don't have enough fingers. Uh, or toes. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it just doesn't stop. We've got another one. Take a look at this Karen. They're calling her the Soho Karen. A startling accusation quickly going viral. Are you kidding me? You feel like there's only one one iPhone made in the world? No, okay, then show me the No, show me you made. get get a life. The video depicting a distressed woman claiming her iPhone was stolen by a teenage boy. That boy, the son of notable jazz musician Keon Harold, who started recording as soon as tensions escalated. The hotel's manager seen approaching the teen. I'm the manager of the hotel. I don't care. He will this is right my now. son. Harold says he and his son were the victims of racial profiling, telling the New York Times the hotel assumed his son was guilty. I'm trying to help. No, no but you're not helping. I what am. you've been is disrespectful. No. According to Harold, the missing phone was later found in an Uber and dropped off at the hotel by the driver. The hotel responding to the incident, writing in part, more could have been done to de-escalate the dispute. We want to apologize to Mr. Harold and his son for this inexcusable experience. The incident following the Central Park confrontation back in May. Please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Amy Cooper calling 911, falsely accusing birdwatcher Christian Cooper of attacking her after a brief verbal dispute. There is an African-American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. Cooper later issued a public apology, but was charged with making a false report. Now, Harold looking to protect his son from wrongful allegations. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. The famed musician also accusing the woman of assaulting him and his son in an attempt to retrieve the phone. Police confirmed a complaint had been filed for harassment. NBC News was unable to make contact with the woman and do not know what took place prior to the video. Get my phone back. I can't. I cannot. No, not my phone. Get your ass off. The woman has not been publicly identified. Harold says, according to the hotel, she had been a hotel guest earlier in the week. And overnight, the boy's mother also posted on Instagram responding to the support the family has received, telling others to wait for a proper ID on the woman. Larry, I'm gonna give this to you first. The lady grabbed the son and pushed him. So I want you to start your soliloquy with this. Would the dad have been wrong for pushing her off his son? She's a 22-year-old grabbing your 15-year-old son, thinking that he has your phone, and he really doesn't. They've already talked to the hotel manager. He's not really doing anything. The police was called. If this would have been your son, Larry, and she's grabbing your son, trying to take the phone out of his hand, would you have been wrong to push her or restrain her and then go into your full soliloquy no i mean you he wouldn't have been wrong for defending his child i mean actually the little boy's only 14 years old but but here's the problem and this is a terrible thing is as being a black man in this country something like that happens it makes you feel so it makes you feel so just impotent I mean, because you can't even take the moment, you can't even defend your own son in that moment because if he had, if he had actually struck that woman or even just so much as pushed her back to keep her away from his child, that man might have potentially have been killed. The police might have showed up and, and, and killed him. You know, I mean, you, there, you, there's nothing that he could really do in that moment. And it, it's, it, it's horrible. I mean, it's, you're talking about, and, and this is the thing that frustrates me to no end is that we see these we see these things and and like that brother that dude is a is a Grammy award winning you know a uh, uh, jazz musician who's played with all kinds of big name celebrities out there and so there's a there's an interest in the media to put him out there to show him. 
the other brother that was out there that that was in that was with the whole bird watching thing. This is a, this is like another Harvard graduate brother out there that that was working with all these big name companies and and was well to do. And so there was an interest in showing him. There's a lot of young people out there that don't have that. There's a lot. I mean, what 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 would happen if some brother was out here and he was just Christmas shopping with his young son and he just happened to be a dude that worked at, you know, uh, some local pizzeria or or worked at Walmart or at UPS or something. And, and he wasn't a big name, anything wasn't a, the graduate of some fancy Ivy League school. And this happened. I mean, we may there may be no interest in this story at all. And so you may have a brother that's out there now who's who's. You know, who knows what would happen? Maybe they took his phone. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, this whole thing, I don't even know what's up with that woman. It just, I mean, this whole story to me made no sense. I was like, this woman stayed at this hotel days ago, and she's thinking that this young boy who just, I mean, they apparently they had got there like that day or the next day. They, they weren't even in the hotel. They weren't even staying at the hotel at the same time. And like the black family wasn't even there at the time that this white woman was there. And somehow she thinks that he stole her, her phone. I mean, it is, it just doesn't make any sense. It's complete and utter lunacy. It's just, I mean, not to mention it's, it's damn near, impra- it's damn near impossible to actually use a stolen iPhone nowadays. Apple has these things so locked down that if you steal someone's iPhone, unless these people don't have any security measures on there, their the phones are useless. Well, I'm gonna give it to you, T. Strings, but <laughs> couldn't the manager have called the girl phone to see if that boy's phone ring? I just feel like it escalated too much. And being <laughs> in New York, you already know when you start calling the police or you start insinuating that a black person has done something. Well, not even just New York, worldwide. I mean, it's, um, United States wide. It, it escalates things. So couldn't the manager have called her cell phone to see if that phone rung or something? T-Strings, what do you think? Right, yeah. I, I think that there could have been uh, several things <clears throat> to take place to sort of de-escalate the situation. See, this right here is the, this right here is the original epidemic right here because, you know, the racial tension in our country is so is at an all time high right now. OK. And so, <clears throat> you know, I don't you know, I, I really I hate to be the black sheep, but, you know, this stuff continues to go on and on and on and on. And, uh, you know, it's it's terrible. You know, <clears throat> you know, it, it's it's really difficult trying to figure out how to even process it because while I'm watching the video, I'm saying to myself, that could be me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, that could be me. This could spiral out of control. That could be any one of you guys mm-hmm. or, any, or anyone. And it could spiral, it could spiral out of, out of control. And with, and because the sensitivity of racial tension in the United States of America Things can click and go that fast. I mean, this woman was hysterical. I mean, she over a damn phone, right? And so, um, you know, so so the option, you know, the 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 question then becomes: See, he was he was fortunate enough to be by his son, so he was able to protect him to a certain degree. All right, Uh, you know, now I'm a whole different breed breed of person you know i'm not no whole ass dude i don't go beating up on women and stuff like that you know i don't I, I i don't do that all right but i think for me if i if i'm approached you know if i'm approached in these situations like this i, I probably me personally i would have probably pushed her out the way and that would have had consequences of itself you know because mainly for the for the simple reason I'm tired of seeing it. Mm-hmm. And it's it's so it's so rampant that this whole, you know, it's so rampant that the that this whole fiasco now has uh has a theme behind it, the crazy Karen's. All right. So just by nature, you know, if it continues to be rampant, the law of averages says that at some point it's going to be my turn. 
<laughs> okay? And I don't want it to be my turn. You know, mm-hmm. I don't I don't want to have to I don't want to have to put myself in a position to to act the ass in public because I'm not very good at turning the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, I'm I'm not very good of being uh degrade, degraded or or put down or belittled uh or or seen as inferior to someone else because of the color of my skin. You know, I you know, uh, I'm still being worked on on some on some, you know, in some areas. And so um you know, I would react a lot a lot differently. But man, if this is not if this is not brought under control, you know, if this is not brought under control, then you know, I'm I'm afraid to see what the next escalation of this particular, you know, of these particular scenarios is going to be, you know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, right now we we really with our backs against the walls because at the at the end of the day, we all face with this one question: What do we do? Yeah. Okay? Uh, because. All of us go to Walmart. Uh, all of us go to Targets or these places where these where these events take place. Supermarkets. Uh, I don't know about anybody being in hotels right about now, but if you know if you there, you know we frequent these places, the exact same places that these incidents seems to be happening at. In other words, the potential is there every time you go out in public places, mm-hmm. and because of you know, and because of our because of our skin color and because of the racial tension and in, in the United States of America, when it is our turn, the question becomes, what do we do? Do we sit passively? Do we fight back? You know, or, you know, so, so that in itself is a stress for the black man, you know? I, so I just, I just think that um, one thing that they've got to continue to keep doing um, some of these places where these Karens and others have been doing this, um, the police departments have been pressing charges on those individuals. We need that to continue to happen. That yeah. has got to continue to keep happening so that people don't start thinking twice, so that people will start thinking twice before you just holler at your mouth something that shouldn't be, which is an escalation because the person that you're dealing with is a minority. And I mean, it's just got to keep happening. But see how 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 far does it go? So they they give you these filing false reports. You you get a ticket or go to court, plead guilty to a lesser trial, criminal mischief, a hundred dollar ticket, and then oh, you know it's. I mean, it's just it's got to be punitive. It's got to yeah. hurt. But yeah, see, that's hurt. With, her, with her in this case, it should be she should be she should be charged and prosecuted for criminal assault and battery and with special circumstances because she assaulted a child. It wasn't just she went after some grown adult who she thought took her phone. She went after a child. And there should be, and I don't know about New York, but in California, there are special circumstances where you can go after, where they can tack on more severe punishment because of that. And, And and right. they should go after her to the fullest extent of the law because she assaulted a child. See, this is the thing. I don't have kids. And I, I you know, I, I don't have kids. I don't know how I'd respond if this was my child. I can only imagine how I'd feel and how I'd respond if somebody came after my niece or one of my nephews. I know for a fact that if that had been a woman coming after my wife, I probably would not be on this show talking right now because I think that if, if it came down to somebody stepping between me and my wife, I'm gonna I will consciously make that decision that I'll have to sacrifice myself and whatever that means, whether that means physically being killed by the police or being my loss of freedom, whatever. I swore an oath to God to protect my wife. And so that oath to God means way more to me than anything else that that someone's going to do to me later you know, or in that moment, I just hope that that never happens because we live in a country where that could happen to any one of us at any given time. I mean, we have seen from just from what we have seen just throughout this year, we're not even safe in our own home. I mean, you had that cop in Dallas or or, or wherever, Fort Worth, wherever that woman walked into the wrong house and blasted a dude in his own house. Breonna Taylor was sleeping in her bed. Got blasted in her own bed. But yet, I mean, we had that happen yet, the, the, numerous times. But yet, the, the, that that fucking bomber, they come back and find out that the police had been called on him 
because the girlfriend said that he was making a bomb in the camper. And you mean to tell me the police had the audacity to say we couldn't come up with no kind of warrant? Well, hell, you just busting up in black people's houses without warrants. What the fuck do you mean you couldn't come up with a warrant to go check this man RV that is outside? I don't want to hear it. Somebody explain to me yeah. what's that. What, yeah. what, what the hell is that? Yeah, you know? let, say, let somebody say Lamont or Larry is making the bomb and and call it in on the tip line and, and watch somebody be coming at your door. Oh, my Lord. They wouldn't even need a warrant. Let <laughs> let somebody call the police and say, we seen Lamont putting fertilizer in his Tesla Model 3 battery and he's about to rob downtown. 